Well, good morning, everybody. For me, it's Saturday morning here. And um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the moon landing. Now, we all know that there's dummies out there that think the moon landing never happened. And I'm just going to show you one small part about the lunar landing. Jack Schmidt having a few problems. Hang on. Yeah. All right. Good show. I told him you were. Okay. We see that one went all the way in. Not quite. But there it is. All but about uh, five inches. Okay. Okay, so like I said, you can definitely see there was some issues with uh, trying to walk. You know, their muscles are accustomed to carrying around, you know, 180 pounds or more. And uh, now they're carrying 60 pounds. So you can see there's a little problem there. So the next little video clip I want to show you is from 2001 A Space Odyssey. This is uh, often touted as the number one science fiction movie of all time. Uh, it was directed by Stanley Kubrick, who many of the conspirators, conspirators say was the guy that directed the moon landing um, and uh, this was filmed in May or March of 1968 so it was you know about a year before the moon landing uh, and Stanley Kubrick would have been filming this moon landing uh, right after that so they should be pretty comparable right so let's look at what the number one space movie of all time is showing about um, the moon and walking on the moon
Okay, so compare those two. How do you think uh, the published, NASA published moon landing compares to the highest rated uh, space movie of all time? Compare those two and see how you feel about those. Uh, <coughs> let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, you think um, probably uh, the Hollywood made the moon, made the moon landing movie. Uh, do you think those are this close enough? And uh, also in the comments, let me know if there's something else about the uh, moon landing conspiracy that you'd like to know about, and we'll cover it at another time. Okay, so that's all I had today, and uh, hope you have a good week, and we'll see you next week.